channel here is Karuna. Uh, today I want to talk with you a little bit about one more quite unusual uh, scale on Armenian Duduk which is the D minor scale on A Duduk. I mean you already know this note, the note of D, three fingers and the thumb uh, and you might already know even some compositions in D major scale which is quite popular on uh, on this Duduk. Uh, for example Alagias and Ashharum's Achim Kashi, for example, those two ones. Uh, I have already shown them in my YouTube videos. So, but today I want to talk a little bit about something unusual, starting from the uh, keynote of D, and that would be the D minor scale and a harmonic D minor scale. Uh, right now I'm learning one composition uh, in harmonic D minor scale, starting from the note of D here on A Duduk, and it's called Tsov Asthik. As you know, uh, Duduk players normally use, of course, the most comfortable position to play uh, in some particular scale. For example, if you play the scale of D minor, uh, you would rather take Duduk in the key of C, six fingers C, and then on five fingers you have the, those, you have this D minor, and then you play it like in, in a normal minor scale, and then you get it. But um, the timber of those duduks is very different. I mean, they are quite different in length. See, the C duduk is much, much shorter than A duduk, and the timber is, is very different. The feeling, the vibe is uh, very different. Let me show you how the uh, D minor scale sounds on C duduk, and then I will show you uh, the same on, on A duduk. That was a natural D minor and harmonic D minor, the only difference is the second last note. Instead of A, instead of, instead of this open note, the note of C here, no, uh, we play C sharp. So this is the only difference. Uh, this note is not just open, we also squeeze a little bit our lips and like this we get the harmonic uh, minor scale. <laughs> And the natural D minor. You can hear the timber, no? Of C Duduk. It's very beautiful, by the way. Uh, but of course, not many of you have all keys of Duduk, and if you need to play D minor, then you take a C Duduk. Uh, so it's a kind of a privilege, uh, let's say, uh, to have um, number of keys. Uh, of course you can buy, but uh, it's up to you. So, but most of you have the A Duduk and uh, then you can practice, uh, you can play the same D minor on A Duduk. The timbre, the feeling uh, will be um, quite different on uh, A Duduk and the fingering is also much more complicated, uh, but still, uh, we can do it. Okay, uh, the drone in D, three fingers. Uh, don't forget that the note of D we play with a shade here. So it could sound a little bit sharper on three fingers without shade. But if you play with shade... You see? So without the shade, it sounds a little bit sharper. 
and this is normal with shade note of A B flat or A sharp note of C half tone with the middle finger two half tones in a line note of D, note of E F, half tone and then again half tone with the thumb A, all open and a little bit lips pressed, A sharp And the harmonic D minor, which is uh, played in those in, the, in that composition I'm learning right now in Sof Ashik, would be as if we are playing Shushtar in A, but with the drone in D. <laughs> So we are not playing the second half tone here, the note of C with middle finger, but we jump to C sharp. This is the difference between natural minor and harmonic D and harmonic minor. Very, very nice scale, and I recommend you to listen to Sof Ashik. Uh, I will, uh, I will put in the description the composition I am learning, the original one. starts like this. Like before I uh, showed you uh, the E minor scale on A Duduk, which is also not that usual. Now it is D minor, so you are learning more and more about Duduk and uh, you start realizing that almost everything you can play only on A Duduk. It's just more difficult than if you would have uh, other Duduk keys, like, like Duduk in C for example. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next videos. That was Karuna. Bye bye everybody.